or you have doubts about why I would ask you to do this. By making you wait 31 days, I'm giving you an opportunity to get your hands dirty and actually do some practical work. To be clear, you are not So in this lecture, we are going to discuss where to get the code for this course. The code in this course mostly comes in the form of CoLab notebooks. In previous courses, I've provided a simple URL where you could download the code at your leisure. But in this course, I'm going to try something new. In order to get the notebooks for this course, you'll need to make a request for the notebooks by filling out a form. Furthermore, you'll only be able to make this request 31 days after you started the course. Okay, so specifically, how can you get the notebooks for this course? You'll need to go to deeplearningcourses.com slash code request. From here, there's a simple form for you to fill out where you state your email, which course you are taking that you would like the code for, your name as it appears on Udemy, and the date on which you purchased the course. The final two pieces of information are important because I won't be able to look you up by email. These will allow me to check when you signed up to confirm that it has in fact been 31 days since that time. Although you still do have to provide your email so that I can email you back with a link to the notebooks. And please note that if you do email me directly, you'll still need to provide the above information. This form just makes it simpler by telling you exactly what information to submit. Now you might be wondering, why am I doing this? The goal of this is to encourage students to code by themselves. Too often, I see students who make it abundantly clear they have not attempted to write any code themselves. You may have noticed that coding by yourself is one of the most important activities in this course. In fact, there is a lecture all about it called How to Code by Yourself. I encourage you to watch this lecture if this is confusing or you have doubts about why I would ask you to do this. By making you wait 31 days, I'm giving you an opportunity to get your hands dirty and actually do some practical work. To be clear, you are not missing anything at all by not getting these notebooks right away. All of the code in this course is still shown in the video. You'll still be given the links to all the data sets you need. The only difference is that instead of me typing the whole thing for you, you're getting practice typing things by yourself. This builds muscle memory, which many people don't understand the importance of. It may sound strange to speak of muscle memory for coders instead of sports, but after trying it yourself, you will understand clearly how powerful it is. What I'm doing is I'm putting a barrier in between you and your desire to simply go to a URL, hit the play button, and watch things work. Okay, so your next question might be, well, where do I get the datasets? This is very simple. Just go to the resources for this lecture, and you will see a link to the datasets. Okay, so aside from just notebooks, there is yet another place to get extra resources for this course. For example, reading materials, data processing scripts, and other miscellaneous things. To get these, please go to my GitHub repo, github.com slash lazyprogrammer slash machine learning examples. This contains materials for all my courses in a single repo, and it's organized by folder. Essentially, it's one folder per course, although there are some exceptions. In order to go directly to the folder for this course, please click the resources link attached to this lecture. Now, if you're new to Git or GitHub and you're a bit intimidated, please see the upcoming lecture called How to Use GitHub and Extra Coding Tips. Now, there's one mistake that many students make, so it needs to be explicitly stated that the CoLab notebooks are not on GitHub. I repeat, the CoLab notebooks are not on GitHub. Let me repeat that one more time for good measure. The CoLab notebooks are not on GitHub. Now, there are a few more common mistakes and misconceptions that need to be discussed. Firstly, some students, for some reason, 
get the timeline completely backwards. They believe that they must request the code within the first 31 days of signing up for the course, otherwise they will lose access to the code forever. This is not correct. Furthermore, this doesn't make any sense at all. The correct timeline is this. For the first 31 days you are taking this course, you should be coding by yourself. This is good exercise. After 31 days, you can and should submit a code request to get access to the official bonus notebooks. Remember, the goal is to stop you from just downloading notebooks and hitting play, which is a useless activity because the videos already show you what will happen when you do that. There will be no difference if you hit play or if I hit play, it's the same thing. The second thing students are getting wrong is that they think they can't access the data for this course because the URLs go off the screen in the videos. Again, this is not correct. You should not be typing URLs by hand, which is again, a useless activity. Also, do not try to search for the data links on Google or any other search engine because you'll just end up getting the wrong data set. Instead, the data links have already been provided as mentioned earlier in this lecture. The third thing students are getting wrong is that they believe they will never get access to the notebooks. I'm getting people emailing me saying, I thought this course comes with notebooks. The answer is yes, it does. You will get the notebooks. All you have to do is follow the instructions. So thinking you will not get access to the notebooks is completely incorrect. Of course, there are caveats to this. For example, if you spam the website with 20 requests, enter the incorrect sign-up date, or display any other bad behavior, then you may forfeit access. One more extreme comment I got once said that I have a contractual obligation to provide notebooks, which is not correct. On the contrary, the notebooks should be considered as a bonus to this course. This platform is actually a video course platform, and the primary mode of instruction is video. Other more dishonest students are saying things like, I purchased this course because it said in the course description that I will get the notebooks. Guys, this is very silly. You can't lie to me about what it says in the course description, because I'm the person that wrote the course description. If you do this, you'll be rewarded accordingly. Finally, I just want to say that these misconceptions actually strengthen the case for implementing this policy because they show that some students simply are not listening to the lectures and gathering the information I've provided. By listening more carefully and being a more diligent student, these mistakes can be avoided and moreover, your chance at success will increase.